My name is Salma Abdullah Rabia, known with the name of Umm Talal. This is one of the Bedouin tradition that we do not call a woman with her own name, but with her first son's name. I am from El Mizena tribe here in Nueva, in Arab Hamdan. I have six children, four from the first husband, two from the second one. I had very hard times with my first husband. We used to live at his mother's house, which is like a single cabin, and we were living and sleeping all together. One day I was fighting with him because we didn't have a home of our own, and he struck me on my face. This hurt me not just physically, but mostly psychologically. This was the first turning point of my life. At first, Habiba was a camp like any other touristic camps. But after some time, they started to do their own projects, like Womad for beads and Diamonds of Sinai for soaps and cosmetic products. These projects helped Bedouin women to increase their income and skills, which made Habiba unique and completely different from other camps. I consider them like my family, Mr. Megid as my brother and Lorena as my sister, and also Mr. Megid's mother was just like my mother. It's amazing what they're doing. After the divorce, I started working at the beach and selling to tourists. I realized that it wasn't sustainable, so I had to think of an alternative source of income. So I decided to start farming. In 2000, I started planting lemon trees, gawafa, and fig trees in my backyard. During that same winter, I also planted tomatoes, eggplants, rucola, dill, and parsley. I really love to farm and take care of my garden. It makes me feel better. And because of it, I'm able to provide food for my household and feed my goats. Absolutely, I can already see it. My current concern is that I don't know if I should plant the summer crops or not. The weather has been changing a lot in recent years. I'm worried my vegetables will not survive. The changes in the season has been impacting my garden and the productivity of the crops, which also has been impacting our food and our goat's survival. Habiba helps to empower women of my community thanks to initiatives like WOMAD. They can work from home, create beautiful accessories, and this generates an income for them. Habiba also helps farmers by distributing bags of vegetables from their own farm, and that helped a lot the community, especially during the corona crisis. And most importantly, I would like to involve more Bedouin women to farm their backyards to transform them into sustainable sources of income, as well as help the Bedouins to prepare for climate change in the upcoming years.